day yesterday. Up again and back at it. Got therapy at nine. Just trying to work on these Urban Exploring clips. Get them ready to edit later. Good morning, guys. I'm beat. Feeling good, though. I pulled a muscle in my chest, though. It was killing me before bed. Climbing up on the roof, I think. That's what happens when you don't surf for three weeks and then you try to go climbing around Urban Exploring. Anyway, let's make coffee. Head into physical therapy. It's warm out. Summertime. It's fucking June, dude. How crazy is that? But I gotta do something about this haircut. But anyway, it's fucking June. Just like that, dude. Just like that. So, <coughs> officially casted, I guess, right? Yeah. The whole squad. Are we stoked? Dude, dream team. Talking to 100% yet? 100%. That's the four, dude. Me, you, me, and our brothers. <laughs> well, I was, I was kind of, I said I'm sick and he didn't say anything about it, but I was like, not three inches. It's kind of Here we are. Second to last therapy session before I see the doctor. Feeling it. Feeling the recovery. It's fucking kind of on. Problem is, it's always on. That's the problem. All right. We out here. This guy's just grilling me. Hey. Then it's worth the right stuff. Yeah, it's amazing. Back on that bike, though. <laughs> You're getting me motivated, man. Hey, I tell you, after nine months, I've had two surgeries. What is it? Uh, I fell. Uh, uh, my kneecap about six inches up. Oh. And they tore all the meat off the bone from below. I knew I was in trouble as soon as I tried to get up. And I did the same thing you did. My phone fell, because I keep mine up here. Yeah. And it fell. I got the phone. And I went to look at my leg with no kneecap, just a big hog spine. Oh man, how's it feeling? It's still pretty good. I got to go back to work. I'm still uh, semi-retired, but work. Yeah. Where do you work? At the ch uh, Children's Hospital in Philadelphia. Oh wow. A teacher and driver. How old are you? Which you believe? Take a guess. Twenty boy. You can say it. Seventy. You missed it by three. <laughs> Seventy-three. Man, you're crushing it, man. Good for you. Stuff they're doing for him down there. What are they doing for him? Oh, I mean, you know, how they Christie is his money and what they're going to do and brighten up the boardwalk and save the day. They're going to brighten up the boardwalk and all kinds of stuff. Who's saving the day? Don Guardian? That's part of the, the re uh, the They're trying to get the damn thing coming around so make some money. <laughs> they got it somewhere. The mayor has it. Yeah, you betcha. He, all those guys down there have it. <laughs> there he is. The legend, Greg Mueller. It's so hard. It looks so easy. See you guys. You too. Walking out of therapy sweating. Is a good thing. Um, knees feeling good. Rest of my body's so sore from walking around all day yesterday. I'm feeling good though. Excited to come back Monday for my last session. Excited to see the doctor on Tuesday. See what happens with all this. Hopefully I can river surf. That's the goal. All right, let's narrow it down. 
There's two yogurts missing from the fridge. So who ate the yogurt? It's potentially oh, some. Did you eat a yogurt, Ben? Get the containers out. How did you eat one yogurt? I'm investigating the case. I don't know. We'll You're it. lying. You know if you ate a yogurt or two. I don't want to make any blatant claims. I want to just get all the information and evidence together. As soon as G gets down here, we're going to know because I'm going to ask her and if she didn't eat one, you ate them both. So admit it. Yeah. Unless Paulo's lying. Why don't you get the thing out of the trash and we'll do fingerprints on it? It's not in the trash. It's next to the sink. Cleaned. Somebody cleaned it. Oh, somebody took the fingerprints off. Is anybody here lactose intolerant? Yeah. The one who did it. Mom, ask him who ate the yogurt. Ask him who ate the yogurt. Maybe he knows something about the yogurt. <laughs> What? I didn't eat a yogurt today. And also, I eat the lime ones, which no rice. Well, then who ate the yogurt? I haven't had a yogurt today. What brand was it? G? Yeah. Did you eat a yogurt this morning? No. So, like Ben ate two yogurts this morning. Ben. And blame it on. And he's trying to blame it on you and Paula. <laughs> <laughs> I, brought a, I brought one to Greg. That's a lot. Well, let's see what's on the feet, on the vlog. Later on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> already, already, that was good. Oh yeah, my phone's upstairs. I think. Is Dad okay? What? Wait, thank God Karen was there. Pretty good. <laughs> it's fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's fine, right? Yeah. How fast should I say it? Like, slow? Fast? Scary. It's like a scary movie. In 1944, the Penn Hills Honeymoon Resort opened its doors to the public. Nestled... Oh, is that good, though? Do it, like, more... You can Faster? be more human. No, no, that's a good pace. How more human? Like, don't, more articulated? Don't lead it. No, less articulated. Like, what do you mean? In 1944, the Penn Hills Honeymoon Resort no, opened no, no. its doors. Same tone. What do you mean? But you were going, dude? like, in 1944, the Penn Hills. All right, let's try it then, dude. In 1944, the Penn Hills Honeymoon Resort opened its doors to the public. Nestled snugly in the Pocono Mountains, the resort offered 500 acres of steep... Is that good, or...? You could do a little more dreadful. Dude. That's it. A little dreadful. I was trying to do dreadful the first time. Okay, go dreadful, then. All right. In 1944, the Penn Hills Honeymoon Resort opened its doors to the public. The boy. The boy. What up, dude? Dude, are you, are you in Southern California or South Patagonia? What are you talking about? Where are you? I'm in Longport, bruh. Dude, where's that? Dude, the fucking thing you just put up on YouTube. Where is that swimming pool? Oh shit, it's in fucking PA, dude. Well, this is the way. I have a, I have the greatest route. It's a little cold, though. What? This is extremely cute. Stop messing it up. <laughs> what did you just say? A big wave comes and attacks us? It's gonna attack us. Is that how it works? Oh my god. What? <laughs> oh my god. We almost got we almost got attacked. <laughs> And it hurt like pretty bad, right? Yeah. When the legends show Faye. Where's D bag? What are you guys claiming? <laughs> what do you think? Is there rideable? A little bump? I would surf. I know, I know you would. I would surf over there. Do you think it's possible? Triangle? Triangle death? How those how those solely DB sessions going? <laughs> That's pretty solid, dude. How are you? Good man. Good. Nice sticker. Thank you. Thanks for making it. Oh, it's like an amusement park ride. 
Dude, my feet are like touching. I know. <laughs> They're not high enough. Yeah. We're gonna get there. I don't know. I really slow down. You have to speed up. <laughs> We're married. <laughs> what, was Is chick serious right now? <laughs> <laughs> Monkey bars are for monkeys. Oh, this is a slide of sorts. I can hold myself up. <laughs> I got the shot. Fail army. Fail army. What does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so you need the speed, you know what I'm saying? Fail army. What are you saying? <laughs> Just do it. I don't know what you're saying. 